All right, the next thing we want to do is when a request comes in, we want to figure out which HTTP method the user is requesting. If you think back to the requirements of this API, you remember we want to allow the request methods of post, get, put, and delete. And we also want to allow head, which I'll talk about more. But for now, we just need to figure out and log out what the actual method is. So underneath getting the path, but before we send the response or log the request, we are going to get the HTTP method. All right, now how are we going to do that? Luckily, the method is one of the objects available on this request object. Remember that this request object is new for every single incoming request. So what we're going to do is say that var method equals rec dot method. But for us, we want to be really careful with capitalization for reasons I'll go into later. And so let's just push everything down to lowercase for now. That's going to be the method to make sure that we're getting it. Let's go ahead and modify what we're logging out. Say that the request received on this path with this method. So now when a request comes in, it'll log out both the path and the method. Let's go ahead and start the application and clear out this curl terminal and send a new curl. You can see that it was received with get. By default, this curl application is just sending a get request. And for us, the get is pushed down to lowercase. You could just as easily push everything up to uppercase to make sure that it is always capitalized. But whatever you do, just make sure that you're consistent about it. OK, so that is really simply how you get the method from an incoming HTTP request. Now we're going to move on to the next section.